Eric Egley, and welcome to this edition of PS Pointers. I'm going to be talking a little bit about On One Software's Perfect Photo Suite 6.1. Okay, last time I talked about uh, the suite and Perfect Portrait, they just had a recent update. They've d done some wonderful things to, uh, to the program as far as the updates go. Um, they've hit a lot of the different plugins with updates. And the overall uh, software package itself, they've they've done some great stuff too. So, um, if you and actually before we get started, if you want to actually get onto their website, go onto my blog ericegleyphotography.com forward slash blog, and I have a link on the right hand side that'll take you directly to On One's uh, website. So let's get started here. Uh, first off, one of the I think most phenomenal parts of this update is under preferences okay and what they did was they gave us a performance tab here which now we can allocate our memory usage our RAM memory usage and our VRAM usage so what this does is it speeds up the program immensely and it, it actually is almost real time now um, depending upon how much RAM you have but I always suggest getting as much RAM on uh, in, in your computer as you can um, but but definitely, as soon as you update, go into your preferences and adjust that performance, and you will uh, see some amazing um, performance upgrades right then and there. So from there, I'll tell you what. Let's open a file here. This particular image is one that I shot in Austin, Texas. My wife and I were walking along the street, and this band was playing, and we decided to... You know, have a coffee, sit and watch him for a while, and I went up to the bass player uh, in between songs and asked him if I could start shooting a few photos of the band and him. And he was very gracious uh, and said, basically, shoot away. And so I, I did some shots, and this is one of the images that I got. The thing is, I'd like to take this image and enhance it a little bit and give it more of a sort of a vintage type effect, okay? So let's go into Perfect Effects. We'll click on that tab there. And the first thing you're going to notice is we have all these presets that are down here on the bottom of your screen, okay? And you have all these styles that are just above that where you're going to border, color tone, darkroom, detail. There's a ton of them here. And they also have the ability, there's uh, presets that you can actually add into it on their website uh, that are designed by other photographers, other Photoshop uh, uh, users. So you can uh, you can update this also with uh, with new and unique looks. So uh, definitely go in here. I'm going to go into um, vintage actually, actually. And so you see all the presets there. And as you scroll over them, leave your mouse there. It comes up with a larger preview so that you can actually see what what kind of detail and what that that effect filter is going to do to your image and that's kind of cool because it's sometimes it's hard with these little icons to see and this gives you a better idea what's going to happen now i'm going to add one and uh what it does it'll it'll change that image up real quick there you can also adjust the strength or opacity of that over on this this slider bar here okay now I'm going to add another layer, and that's how we save what we've done uh, thus far. Okay, I'm going to add another layer, and what I want you to do is take a look. Keep a, keep your eye on that uh, preset bar, the, the previews on the bottom, those icons, okay? So as soon as I click that, it updates all of those icon views so that I can now scroll over these again and see what happens if I then again add another preset to it. Okay, that's pretty cool because you don't have to just willy-nilly go and add filters and tell you, figure out what you got or you know try and memorize what the heck each filter does. Um, you can just go in there and add them and there again it, it updates all the rest of those previews. So you can add until your little heart's content and it, it's very intuitive. Uh, what I'd like to do is delete that, delete these here and I'm going to show you pretty much where I generally start from. Okay, we got our, our main shot there, our original, if you will. And just to show you how detailed you can get and how uh, you can stylize it to your own particular taste, I want to make sure that we're in the advanced feature here. We're going to add a layer, and then we're going to go down here to effect options. 
and under effect options it gives you all these different things that you can do and I'm going to start out by going to color enhancer and what I'd like to do is, is tone this a little bit, warm it up I'm going to warm it up actually I'm going to keep that going just a little bit there we go and saturation I'm going to kick up just slightly here okay that, that's looking pretty good and now in order to keep that I'm going to add another layer okay and you can see it updated all those presets again um, go back into effect options and I'm going to add a texture okay and they give you a ton of different textures here that you can add to your your image and one of the neat things is as you scroll over these it shows you in your main preview window exactly what that uh, texture is going to do and that's great I mean we're visual people and it does it pretty much real time what this is going to do for you so I'm going to go and I think I'm going to choose postcard and if you notice down here it has a mode under that so you can do subtle you know a subtle filter go a little bit lighter or a little bit darker and I think I'm going to take it darker because that sort of evens out the tones in there and then here again you can adjust the strength of that filter and the scale of the actual texture you can adjust also so I'm going to take that up yeah, let's, let's go to about 77 there all right perfect add another layer and I'm going to go down here into tone enhancer and brighten that up a little bit yeah, it's looking pretty good and as you can see each one of these you got you got a lot of different possibilities so the uh, it's pretty pretty endless what you can do here I'm just gonna kick up the clarity a little bit all right we're looking pretty good there so we got a, a basic formula here and the only thing that I don't like at the moment is the fact that the hand here is a little bit overexposed okay and let me take a look at this filter okay the tone enhancer I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a mask to that so that I can take the tonality of that hand down and they give you the ability to do that over on the left hand side your main toolbar here and it's called a masking bug and I'm gonna place that just click right on the area you want to mask and mask it right there and I'm gonna go up into the dialog box and choose round and then you can make adjustments up here but they also have these handlebars here where you can make adjustments also okay opacity the feather and then the size okay and I'm gonna take that size up just a little bit skinny it up a little bit and so it's hitting pretty much just the hand at this point uh, there we go okay the thing that it's doing though is it's affecting more of the background so I'm gonna invert that mask oh you know something on this one it didn't do that okay actually what I want is it's affecting the hand so what I want to do is um, take that down just a little bit the opacity of that mask I'm going to take to about 40 percent there we go <clears throat> that's a lot better okay cool so that's that's about it I mean that it's quick either way whether you use a preset or whether you go in and do you know each individual option that you that you can and then we can take a look at actually what the original was and the finished image over here and once you're done if you uh, choose to do it with each individual effect option you can save this formula in a preset okay so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna save that preset and I'm gonna name this old oh, Jazzy Austin how about that and the creator Eric Egley and you just hit that and it conveniently puts that effect and that preset down into this folder which I set up which there you go Jazzy Austin right there in alphabetic order so definitely check out uh, the perfect photo suite 6.1 from on one software and check out my uh, my website ericegleyphotography.com as well as my blog and hopefully we'll see you here next time